So there's white clay here. So I'm trying to find a piece where I can line up red clay by flipping them. So I can make an alternating pattern. So see how there's white here? I'm putting the red corner. So it's like alternating. So now I've prepared this like log that I can play with and I'll cut off the end just to show you what we should be working with inside now. So now it's like a grid. It's not perfect, but it's a grid. My previous video, I made this log of alternating slabs of red and white clay. And now I'm gonna play with it and make some dishes. Take myself a little chunk here. So that's what one side looks like. And that's what the other does. And I'm gonna set it down. And I'm using paper here because I want, instead of using canvas, uh, I want really smooth edges when I roll it. So I've got a little hand rolling pin. If I use this on a slab roller, it would pick up the texture of the slab roller, which I do not want because running something across this to smooth it, it would pick up that canvas texture. So it's obviously taking that alternating pattern and expanding it in a kind of organic look. Anywhere that I find an air pocket, I'm gonna to wanna to poke. An air pocket is going to look like, kind of like a little mosquito bite. It'll just look like a little raised bump. Gotta just let the air out. going for a slab thickness that is nice and uniform, nice and consistent. I'm looking for it to be about an eighth of an inch thick if it's going to be for a small dish. Or I could go up to a quarter of an inch if I were going to make a huge dish, but I'm not doing that today. Okay, so here I've got my slab. Here's what the back looks like, which is kind of cool. You can see that like radiating out. Okay, so I've got this. And then I can make anything that I want to out of it. So I've got some four inch squares pre-cut. I could use that to create a dish. I could make a couple of small ones. I could make something circular. Lots of options from here. So one option that I'll explore here is making a square dish from the slab that I previously rolled. Um, it's got a nice smooth texture on it. 
I pre-created this template and this is actually an old, uh, really thin cutting board material, like the cheapest cutting board material. And I've got a cutting tool. Okay. And I can just go ahead and cut. When I'm cutting, I wanna make sure my tool is not coming in at an angle uh, that is inconsistent as I go around. So consistency of the angle of cutting is really important because otherwise some ends will be like turned under and others won't be. So I'm going to go ahead and save all this. I can make some really cool marbled looking stuff later with that if I wedge that together. So I'm going to keep that. Even just like winding it around there you can see what kind of interesting textures I might get. So I'll play with that a little bit later. Okay, and then I can do with this whatever I might do normally with a slab, okay? I might decide to curve up my corners. I might decide to make it into a little origami type plate. So I'll show some options for that uh, soon.